Keep me playing well. Ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> sit back, Santa relax, Santa grab Rose. some popcorn, grab some up. lemonade, and enjoy the show. Hey, because it's time for yeah. another Ertle review yeah. with your good man, Harrison. <laughs> ah. Hello everyone, welcome back to Thomas and MLP Couples and Ships 18. And I'm back once again for another Ertle review. We haven't got that many Ertle engines that I got for Christmas to review now. But here we have one today. And this, do you know who this is? I'll give you a clue. His name starts with D. And he appeared in season four of Thomas and Friends. Have you figured it out yet? That's right, it is D261, or if you prefer to call him Class 40, or even if you just want to call him the Diesel. But, because he's here now, we're going to get a good old look on him we are. So... Let's spin him around a bit, and wow, he's looking awesome, D261 is. Yep, his face pretty much looks like what it does in the series, so does the front of his engine. Yeah, because this is second hand, his buffers aren't fully painted, but that's alright. He still has his name on the sides of him. And he's got his radiator grills there as well. Yep, and he's looking really modelled well with those wheel axles. Yep, and he's got all the details on the back of his engine. Oh, yes. And D261, he actually, um, yeah, he might actually get stuck there a little bit, but actually, uh, yeah, we'll look more into that in the future. But anyways, thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment, subscribe, share, thumbs up, request, and all that good stuff. And we will give this Ertle D261 a test run. <laughs> no rhyme intended, by the way. Served 15 years as a foreign intelligence officer for the Clumsy D261. No wonder some diesel engines can be clumsy if you ask me. Oh. Bit fiddly this turntable is by the way. There we go. Let's see if a funny crash can happen. What? He made it perfectly. We gotta do that again. I wanna see some action. Let's go again, mate. Oh, that's a bit of crash and bash. But all in all, thank you very much for watching my review on Ertle D261. And of course, make sure to stay tuned for... D199. <laughs> and that is going to be the end of the reviews on the Ertle toys I got for Christmas last year.